Welcome back, Zero K fans. Sorry about the delay. Everyone was watching live. I was, I'm not sure what happened, but Chrome decided to start just being really slow and lock everything up. So I had to shut it down and, well, shut down Chrome, not the computer. Anyway, we're back. Sorry about that. Anyone on YouTube will not notice a thing. Or watching afterwards will not notice a thing. But yeah, that's what happened. Chrome can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but honestly, I haven't found any browser that's better for the stuff I'm trying to do. Firefox just doesn't work as well for everything. Okay, so, we're going to have another Icons and Snuggle Bay's match. This is going to be on Frozen Planet. And this map, very small. Most, like, both players basically have two viable start points over in the northwest and southeast, or, well, north and south. And both players going north. Now, this map is radially symmetric, so the equivalent for Snuggle Base would have been the south expansion, but Snuggle Base is going for the more defensible northern expansion. Both players going for, actually, I don't know, Snuggle Base is going for Cloaky. Not sure if Icons is going to go for Cloaky or Spider, or Shield maybe, but usually Cloaky or Spider in this map. That's usually what's gone for, because usually you go for the center hill, although that's because it's a usually a cross start. Now, with same side start, that'll be interesting. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen there. I mean, Icons will probably take the southeast, and Snuggle Base will probably take the south, sorry, southwest. Snuggle Base will probably take the southeast, and we do see Shield, so Shield versus Cloaky on this map. A little bit unusual matchup for this map, but yeah, that works. So, Snuggle Base is going to be going for... Pre Actually, both players are going for fairly quick assault. Bandits coming here. Yeah, five bandits are coming from Icons. Snuggle Base going... Snuggle Base went for three glaives? Four glaives? Okay, they're going for five glaives, but they attacked really quickly. They probably should have only used, like, two. Like, one or two glaives just to scout out, or wait until they have all five. So it looks like they are actually trying to set up all the glaives on the hill first. Wherever the glaives can actually viably go, and the answer is actually nowhere because this entire hill is spider pathable except for this one specific path. And the glaives did not take it. So as a result, going around the side and going out to fight bandits on even terrain, where I'm sure they'd rather not be. So at this point, Icons not really that approachable from the side that Snuggle Base would prefer to go. At least not with Cloaky. With Spider Bots, it would have been fine. With Cloaky Bots, no. Definitely not. The Snuggle Base at this point, building up as is Icons. Neither player really getting any solid advantage in terms of the way they're building up. Icons being a bit more aggressive and actually is taking the mountain path, but at this point, Snuggle Base, if it weren't for the Lotus, they could go in, but it is that Lotus. So not neither player can attack now. I mean, poking around, trying to find holes, but nothing is really going to work. So at this point, Snuggle Base is going for just more and more glaze. Both players just building a larger and larger army. Trying to get trying to win the inevitable battle, which at this point Snuggle Base just got a slight disadvantage in. However, they do have the terrain advantage, and they are gonna take advantage of that. Kinda tricky though. It's difficult to take advantage of terrain with units that have such short range. Like, glaives and bandits are like you look at their attack range, they are right next to melee range. I'm not even sure how much gravity affects their attack. I think it affects it a little bit, but they are so close to melee range, it almost doesn't matter. It's very difficult to have height actually make a difference. It makes a difference when you're going up a hill. It's a bit slower, so it's slightly harder to retreat, but it's also... You have more room. Because of the two-dimensional surface you're firing onto. However, Retreat Micro is still the biggest thing. And Snuggle Base doesn't really have a good place to retreat to. Icon's going for a nice flank, but I think Snuggle Base knows this. Yeah, Snuggle Base has radar. They know that's coming in. They know about these bandits. So, that is... Well, that would have been a flank, except, well, they have a better option. However, it's worth pointing out that Glaives are less powerful individually than bandits are. And also, it's worth pointing out that Icons has gotten a slight economic lead. And they're now expanding over to the southwest, whereas Snuggle Base has not really expanded over to the southeast. And now... Okay, here's the flank. That flank's not going to do much good. In fact, Snuggle Base will be able to get rid of Icon's entire bandit force at the cost of one, two? Yeah, two glaives. And the other half of the force going to the main base, but it's not going to be much of a threat. So at this point, Icon's is actually at a small disadvantage. Not particularly big. It is a small disadvantage. Basically, they've given Snuggle Base the room to breathe. So they've, it's reset to neutral, is a better way of putting it. Icon's had an advantage. They lost that advantage. It's now pretty neutral. Pretty even. 
But Eikens does have the economic advantage. Snuggle Base is actually, are they going forward? No, they're reclaiming first. Not a bad idea. Can't say I disagree with that. They do need more energy though, and they are building more solar collectors. How much? Okay, let's double check. On this map, wind generators at the hills, 0.9 to 2.5. On the ground, 0.1 to 2.5. So this map actually makes wind generators very cost effective, but there's not a whole lot of space to build them cost effectively. And Snuggle Base trying to make use of the fact that they actually have a slightly larger military. Now that, yeah, they do have a slight military advantage, in fact, and they are going to take advantage of that, forcing Icons back a bit, applying a bit of pressure, but these glaives are moving very far from home. Nice, take out one worker, take out a lowest, take out another metal extractor. The outlaw is built, but those glaives did a lot of damage. Now they need to retreat. Unfortunately, they're retreating through the bandits, but fortunately for them, the numbers are large enough. It doesn't matter. The tactical error, well, it wasn't a tactical error at that point. What would normally have been a tactical error was actually the correct choice on account of the larger numbers. So right now, Snuggle Base has actually taken a slight advantage. Economically, they're slightly ahead. Militarily, they're slightly ahead. And they are now... Oh, this is, this is way too risky. I think they might... They target the Lotuses directly. They focus completely on the Lotuses. On one Lotus at a time. They might have a chance. Yes, they do. They actually do. Wow, nice. Snuggle Base taking out the entire Southwest. Still keeping four glaives alive as well. Very nicely done. But at the same time, Icons still has a decent amount of reclaim to work with. They do have 300 metal worth of reclaim. So with this, they have a minute with a convict's five metal per second. They do have a minute's worth of 21 metal per second. So Snuggle Base did a decent amount of damage, but didn't damage the energy infrastructure. Did damage the expansion, which is nice. But Icons has a lot of reclaim to work with. Icons also switching to... Outlaw and Thug, so basically the counter force. This is the counter, because Outlaws wipe out the Glaives, and the Thug shields prevent the Outlaws from being directly targeted by the Glaives. So at this point, we need Rockos. Snuggle Base needs Rockos, and needs them a minute ago. Like... So, what I mentioned about Reeds before, hasn't improved. Snuggle Base continuing to go for Glaives. Going for a Sharpshooter, which they have spotted the Thug Law Ball. I'm assuming they're thinking felons. I mean, sharpshooters work well against the thugs, too. Yeah, I'm assuming, I assume they're thinking felons. Because felons are, well, they're what comes naturally after a thug law ball. Or at least can. It's the mix-up. You either go pure thug law, or you go thug felon. Now, if they're going thug law, sharpshooter is really useful. If they're going thug felon, the sharpshooter is less useful. Has no real targets to go for. And you'd be better off going for Rocco's. But that's, well, actually at this point, the case. They'd be better off going for Rocco's right now. And Ikins has not rebuilt the Southwest yet. They have been reclaiming. They got the 21 metal per second for that minute. They are, however, unable to take the north side. But they are bearing down on here. One sharpshooter takes out a thug, but at this point, Ikins should just go for it. And they are, in fact, just going for it. What? Yes, okay, good. Because that, they need to go for it. They need to attack that sharpshooter. There's not much else in the base. They'll lose another thug. I think. Thug or an outlaw. Lose an outlaw. That's probably worse, because that means that Glaze coming... Well, if Glaze were being produced right now, it'd be worse. But they are being produced right now, so that's actually just fine. Okay, and actually, no, two outlaws would have been very nice. This is way too defensible. So it kind of sucks. Oh, now but both outlaws gone. That did not work out. Bit of a risk, and it did not pay for it. I should not have suggested going it. That was a mistake. My bad. I mean... I'm not telling the players what to do, even though it often seems like I'm cheating in time, but yeah. I can understand why that was that was done. Might have been better to wait for the backup force before moving in, because shields work best in a ball. In a large ball. And Snuggle Base's economic advantage has not been contested. Icon's economy has not been rebuilt. It is, however, going to be rebuilt very shortly. Within the next minute or so, the Southwest will be rebuilt. And then the Northeast will be assaulted again, probably because that's what you do. I'm a little surprised that dirtbags have not been built. Bandits? Okay, bandits are good too. But dirtbags I think would be a better option. They're more, they're tougher, they're cheaper, they're better for spotting out the sharpshooter. And another thug is going to go down for free as the sharpshooter moves out. And the bandits, sorry, the glaives go for a flank, but no, okay, the one outlaw. One outlaw on the thugs. These glaives will have a bit of a problem assaulting this force. A bit of a problem, not a huge problem. But a small one. And as a result, Snuggle Base decides to wisely avoid that conflict. And Ikins moving the bandits down 
Rather than going to try to take on the sharpshooter directly, instead moving down to try to meet the glaive forces head on, they'll probably go down though. It's really risky. And yet yeah, that's actually going to go in Iken's favor? Are they going to retreat out of it? Are they going to get... No, they are not. They did not get the proper micro out of it. I thought they were going to funnel Snuggle Base's forces into a nice line and then just pick them off one by one. They could have done that too, but they didn't manage to move their bandits in the right way. Especially if it was right here, because see, the glaives are going into a nice single file line or double file line. That would have been very handy, but that didn't happen again, and so the Southwest goes down once again. And Snuggle Base... Yeah, no Rockos. Orphelius pointing out in the chat, no Rockos. Why no Rockos? I don't know. I mean, the Zeus kind of makes sense because of the shield damage, but yeah, why no Rockos? I, I said that like two minutes ago. Actually, four minutes ago. Snuggle Base should have built Rockos already. Zeus, sure. Sharpshooter, what the hell? I mean, that's that's expecting... That is a bad read. That is reading a felon way too soon. I mean, that is reading a very early felon. Which I can sort of see as a concern, but I still think Rockos would have been a better option. And then go for the sharpshooter... Honestly, I think you can go for sharpshooter on reaction. If you see a felon, build the sharpshooter. If you don't see a felon, don't build a sharpshooter. And, yeah, the only thing, though, Snuggle Base, despite going for the wrong forces, they have... They've had an economic advantage this entire time. They have been way ahead this entire game. Now, the Glaives... That force of Glaives has just gone down, but the force of Zeus is basically carrying them through the game. And hey, a warrior! That would have been really handy last game. But, no. They're going to save it for when it's actually being countered directly. Like, Icon's doing well when it comes to type counters. Snuggle Base, on the other hand, basically relying on brute force economy. And if this force in here harasses, actually gets rid of the economy, that brute force economy approach is not going to work anymore. Like, this, this force here, this is basically it. If this force goes down, and they've taken a decent amount of damage, but Zeus, they're tough. Like, 16,000 collective health. And Iken's commander's not upgraded. Iken's commander about to go down. The burst will not kill the Zeus. It might scratch the paint at worst. And the Zeus are being wise about that. Staying out of the way. They won't be hit by the burst at all. Oh, what? No, never mind. I'm very wrong. They actually... That's stronger than I expected. My mistake. Much stronger than I expected. In fact, the, that army going down very quickly. But Iken's has no economy to work with. Taking out Snuggle Base's economy. But even then, that's not going to be much. Okay. Orphelia's pointing out the Sharpshooter is pretty good. I guess it is, but... It's only because of the economy. That's the only reason. I still think that it'd be a better option to go for Rockos. And right now to go for Glaives, but that's not happening. Actually, okay, Glaives are a risky option. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But yeah, at this point, Snuggle Base is won regardless. Well, at any rate, Snuggle Base is going to be... They lost a bit of their economy, but not much. They have a really strong position around the map. They have a pretty strong army. The, the felons are a bit of a problem. And Snuggle Base's commander moving out. And the felons just got their Christmas present early this year. As that commander not being focused on. Sharpshooter not doing much. I mean, Sharpshooter is doing a bit of damage. But that commander basically forced to retreat. And is it faster? I think it's slightly faster. Let's see. 58 to... No, it's slower. It has jump and that's about it. But the, the rogues can catch up. Yeah, and they're going to catch up well before it gets its jump back. So that commander is going down. Snuggle Base losing the economic advantage. Of, well, the economic help of that commander, not the advantage. The advantage is still solidly in Snuggle Base's corner. Oh, is that... No, the bandit forced the sharpshooter away. Sharpshooter is far from dead, but the bandit did force away. Icons managed to keep their base intact. Push off the pressure a little bit and should be able to deal a bit of harassment. And that set of rogue... Sorry... Did I say felons? I meant rogues. That set of rogues is doing a fairly decent job. They are doing their job, but Icons desperately needs to re they need to rebuild this. They actually, yeah, reclaiming is probably a better option. They need to get more energy too. Right, that's the thing, it's that really dangerous position where you have to make all the right choices. And I don't even know if they can. I don't even know if they have enough room. Right, those rogues are going down with the increasing number of glaives fighting them. No real economic difference has been made. Like, Icons is still behind quite a lot, even with the Reclaim. They're still behind. Without the Reclaim, they're screwed, but they have more than enough. Like, that 1200 Reclaim will last in the entire game. The game will not be long enough, one way or the other. Either they will get their resources back somehow, or they will lose. But it will last in the entire game, one way or the other. 
But it looks like the bandits are actually doing a pretty decent job getting rid of the Glaive Army. But the Glaive Army is relentless. Because why not? Snuggle Base has no reason to stop building Glaives. They're doing a pretty decent job. Bit of a war of attrition, but if they can get rid of all of these rogues, and there's only four of them left, then these Zeus have nothing in their way. The bandits won't stop the Zeus, and the Zeus will be able to just finish this off. So Snuggle Base, they have the game. Oh, there was a roach. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, apparently there was a roach that actually blew up all of these Zeus's. It wasn't the Comburst. Partially the Comburst, but not mostly the Comburst. That makes sense, because I didn't expect the Comburst to deal anywhere near that much damage. I think it deals about, like, 500 or 1,000 damage, which is not enough to kill a Zeus. Alright, so, that was that. And I... Go for one more match, Failthoughts versus Rymark on Iceland. That'll be the last match for today, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.